In this segment, you will learn how to replace a damaged quarter panel using Fuser 108B. Benefits of using Fuser 108B include OEM approved technology, long open time, provides additional corrosion protection. Prior to replacing the damaged quarter panel, we recommend straightening the unibody on a frame machine. Vehicles previously bonded with fuser adhesives will withstand the pulling stress of unibody alignment. Once the damaged car has been straightened, begin removing the damaged panels with an air saw or air chisel. Remove only the large portions, making sure not to cut into the mating flanges. Also, if sectioning is required, measure and mark the bond area. Leave a 1 inch overlap on the existing panel when cutting. Using a spot weld cutter, drill out the spot welds and chisel the remaining edges. Pay special attention to preparing the damaged edges. First, straighten the damaged edges using a hammer and dolly. Then grind all the mating surfaces to which fuser metal bonding adhesive will be applied. It is important to grind all mating surfaces to the bare metal. If there is a galvanized coating, be sure to grind to the bare steel. Use compressed air to remove dust and debris. Next, remove any E-coating or galvanized coating in the bond area of the new quarter panel with an angle grinder. The bond area is the portion of the new panel that will contact the quarter panel inner structure mating flanges. When sectioning the new quarter panel, use masking tape or a scribe to mark the cut line for removing the excess sections of the panel. Be sure to pre-bevel the edges to less than 10 degrees and taper the beveled edges for a smooth transition. Pre-fit all parts to ensure proper alignment. Fuser Adhesive Chemistry has anti-corrosive properties built into the adhesive, so you don't need to worry about future rusting. When reusing the original acoustical foam, use Fuser 800EZ to attach it to the new panel. For this repair, we will use Fuser 108B adhesive. Fuser 108B adhesive has a work time of between 40 and 50 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius that is ideal for medium to large sized panel installations. It is important to note that prior to using any two component adhesive, seam sealer or foam, dispense a small amount of material from the cartridge to ensure an even flow of both components. Then attach a mixing tip and dispense a small amount of material until uniformly mixed. This is a key step in all repairs. Apply a 3 8 to a 1 half inch bead of Fuser 108B adhesive to the prepared edges of the new quarter panel, making sure that all bond areas are adequately covered. Properly position the new quarter panel. Once the panel has been positioned, it should never be pulled away from the vehicle. If repositioning is necessary, slide the panels against one another. This maintains contact between the two surfaces and adhesive. Maintain evenly distributed pressure to all areas by clamping tightly and evenly. The glass beads in the adhesive prevent overclamping. Apply screws or rivets in hard to clamp areas. Although we applied Fuser 108B adhesive to the new panel, there are cases when the adhesive should be applied to the damaged vehicle surface as well. Where possible, wipe excess adhesive from the panel before it cures. This will save you time later. Allow the adhesive to cure for one and a half to two hours at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius before removing clamps, unless welding will take place within this time frame. Be sure to review all pertinent information about the use of the squeeze type resistant spot welder before you begin. Consult the welder manufacturer for the approximate recommended settings for weld bonding. Clamps may be removed immediately after the panel is welded. Expect the adhesive to be a little tacky on the surface as this is a normal property of the adhesive. You may begin welding immediately any time during the adhesive cure process and or when the adhesive is fully cured. Welder settings will vary when welding through wet versus cured adhesive. 
If a test sample through cured adhesive was not made, use the welder manufacturer's recommended settings for welding through cured adhesive. Once the first weld is made, continue welding, maintaining the original spot weld spacing. Remove the clamps and grind down all remaining adhesive from the cosmetic repair area with a DA sander or angle grinder. For an undetectable repair, apply a fiber-filled body filler to any sectioned seam. Allow to cure and contour sand. Next, apply a skim coat of conventional body filler and allow to cure and rough sand. Once the adhesive fully cures, block sand, prime, and refinish per the paint manufacturer's recommendations. Apply Fuser Factory Match Seam Sealers 800EZ, 123, 123EZ, or 129, wherever a seam sealer is required. This completes the quarter panel replacement procedure using Fuser 108B. For more information, visit www.lord.com slash fuser. Call 877-ASK-LORD or contact your local fuser distributor.